Have you ever wondered why some people are so fluent in English while others are not? Well, let's try to find out an answer to this one in this video. Hello, my dear learners. Welcome to the channel. My name is Namita and today we will try to understand that why some people build fluency easily according to you and why others keep trying but never get to become fluent fluent well i am going to share 10 reasons behind this and we will try to uh, understand each reason and you can try to relate the one which actually resonates with you which is your situation and then we will try to work on solving that all right so the very first one is the fear of failure most of you what happens is that you look at this whole process of learning English as something very difficult. Oh, my, I would need to learn vocabulary words. Oh, I would uh, need to understand grammatical rules. Oh my God, I'll have to do reading. Oh my God, I have such a strong mother tongue influence. I'll have to work on my pronunciation. When you listen to other people, you feel that, oh no, I would not be able to do it. It is so tough for you and you quit. You look at this whole infrastructure of English and you quit. It happens with most of the people, but the ones who don't get scared of the work and they continue working on their English, who never quit, are the ones who become fluent. So if this is one of the cases with you, let me know in the comment section that, yes, ma'am, this is something which has happened to me also because we get so fearful of all the work. We want everything easy and working on any skill is task. It is going to take a lot of efforts and we don't want to do that. And then we feel, what if I won't be able to do it? What if I'll fail? I would not be able to speak like him or her. And that is why Quitting is a very, very common problem with most of the English learners. They start their journey, do it for a month or two, and then they quit. They are scared. They don't want to work on it. They don't want to put in efforts. And that is why quitting and failure because of the fear of failure is very, very common. The second reason is that you try to stick to only one method. Suppose you're watching YouTube videos and one person is telling you mm -hmm. that you listen to a lot of videos. You just listen, you just listen, listen to a lot of videos, watch everybody's videos and just listen to them. I have become fluent by listening to a lot of people and you just focus on it. You waste entire one month time by watching videos, only watching videos and still you're not being able to fluent in English and you feel that you cannot do it. While other people would not rely on just one source or one method or one technique. They would explore a lot other areas. They will, they will try their hand on reading. They will work on their listening. They'll work on their pronunciation. They'll even work on their writing. I keep telling you that you have to work on all the four skills. You have to read. You have to listen. You have to write. Write journals. Write letters to yourself just write writing has a direct connection with the brain it will make you fluent and at the same time don't stop speaking keep speaking but you work on only one skill you are listening because that's the easiest one sitting in front of your tv phone or laptop screen is the easiest thing we are passive listeners most of the times so that is why you're not getting results but the people who are fluent have explored all the other techniques they have explored different options and have figured out which one works best for them if it is reading they'll just uh, go ahead with reading at the same time they, they'll keep listening to pronunciation also and then they're writing something also but you are just confined to one method that is why you're not fluent again leave me in the comments if this is the right thing for you the third reason is that and which is very common that you keep focusing on the theory and this is something which i have realized from my comment section that you're too much into theory where are you getting people come up with please can you translate this for me can you tell me where shall i use wood where shall i use uh, ought to where shall i use this that and I wonder, are you going to do a PhD or are you trying to become a teacher and you want to teach English to someone? You are just willing to become fluent. Lot of time gets into theory. You want me to tell you books where you'll read grammar. You want me to tell you books from which you'll learn English. Tell me good books for English learning. 
good books were there in your school it had all the english there are no books written to make you fluent in english i say that keep reading whatever you love to read there is no single book which will make you fluent so read because you love to read because you love to read that content so you are too focused on the theory part that i will grasp a lot of grammar rules i will learn a lot of vocabulary i'll open the dictionary and just cram words and then i will uh, work on the sentence formation the subjects the predicates the change in voice everything but when it comes to speaking i still fall short of words why because there is no practical only theory you are focusing on the theoretical part rather than the practical okay tell me one thing if you watch a youtube video from nisha madhulika kabita's kitchen or there are more heber's kitchen kanak's kitchen you watch those recipe and you see that okay this person has made gajar ka halwa oh it, it is so simple you know how to make gajar ka halwa but you've never gone to your kitchen switched on your flame uh, grated the carrots put the milk for boiling added sugar khoya whatever you want you will never know how to make a gajar ka halwa just by watching a recipe you literally have to go and start cooking that's how everything works so you are spending a lot of time in the theory of english that you're not using it to practice go for practical rather than theory these people who are fluent were more focused on the practical aspect of english rather than theoretical aspect you are still if you are focused on theory then i think you've learned enough move on to practical start practicing start speaking fluent people were only focused on speaking they were practicing irrespective of whatever their background was the schooling was their family was speaking or not they were just speaking they were not into theory they were into practical so leave your theory aside if you want to become fluent only focus on practical start practicing the fourth part is in india especially in asian countries i would say let's include sri lanka dubai and all the nearby of, of i get comments from um, bangladesh and all, all these places nepal so what we focus on is building an accent let me tell you my dear learners that english is now no more limited to just uk and usa it is no more in american and uh, british english it is a global language now you don't need to speak like native english speakers you don't need to have an accent if english was just confined to those countries then tell me one thing why are they teaching us here in our schools why are they teaching it in every other other part of the world because it's a global language now different countries different continents need to unite and the common base is english language that is why english is for all of us so we are allowed to speak english in our way in our accent so in our country we are blessed with lot of dialects lot of languages so people speak it differently there is nothing wrong with having a little bit of influence of our own country if you are expressing yourself well if you are speaking clearly and your pronunciation is appropriate you don't need to build an accent you don't need to roll your tongue and speak english like americans or pressures or any of them you can speak english like an indian it is allowed stop focusing on accent the people who are fluent here in our part of the world we don't we have never focused on building an accent we focused on expression and if you are expressing yourself well and the other person is understanding what you are trying to communicate then you are going to be fluent in any which way so work on expression rather than an accent the fifth thing is the people who are not fluent are not willing to invest in learning there is a a detailed video on self learning i link that video somewhere over here you can go check it out these people who are not fluent are not ready to make any investment into learning you need a mindset shift and there is a dedicated video on that one also uh, how to change your mindset i link that one also now uh, understand that learning is a constant process i am still a learner i am a lifelong learner you don't want to invest your time your energy your efforts into it you just want to 
watch a video and become fluent you are looking for a magic pill you are not willing to invest yourself completely into it you don't believe in learning for yourself you think that it's uh, idly an institute's job you just try to uh, give them some money and take fluency out of them or you enroll yourself into a course and want to gain fluency this is not going to happen you have to invest your time it is learning you need to learn this as a skill you have to train your mind in such a way that your tongue becomes fluent if you are willing to invest you will be fluent and so the people who you think are fluent have invested in their self learning rather than being dependent on applications like i would not name there are different applications which are asking for your money they'll send uh, they'll uh, provide you with a person who will talk to you for 15 minutes half an hour don't fall into this trap don't go to institutes you don't need to buy courses you can simply do it on your own just be ready to invest in your own learning and the sixth thing is and which is very very common the people who are not fluent are always focused on their problems ma'am i cannot speak in english because i come from a hindi medium background they are full of excuses ma'am i can understand english but you know what when i try to speak i uh, my mind goes blank i can speak everything i'll know vocabulary but ma'am my mother tongue influence is very strong they will only talk about a problem i upload a video 15 20 minutes video where i'm telling you the techniques how to become fluent and then in the end i get a comment where you are telling me a full problem of your own such a long problem at least watch the video it has a solution and the ones who are fluent take away a beautiful lesson out of it and start working on it that's the different be difference between the fluent speakers and the ones who are still trying but are not being able to be fluent you still love to tell your problems in different comments boxes of different trainers you love it this is something you find pleasure out of stop doing it be fluent like like those who have taken something out who are learning from these videos and you're not doing anything you're just watching one video move on to another gain nothing from none of them so this is a big problem the people who are fluent are solution oriented and those who are not fluent are problem oriented and this is a big problem i must tell you the seventh reason is the people who cannot speak very fluently lack motivation because they feel motivation is something which comes from outside maybe you don't know about the intrinsic motivation or maybe you lack the purpose you have no purpose you still are not uh, clear about your reason for working on your english you don't know why you want to learn english maybe you already have a job maybe you have no such big plans you're just doing it because everybody is doing it otherwise why would someone not become fluent if it is a problem if it is stopping you somewhere you want to travel abroad you want a promotion in your job you want admission somewhere if this is such a burning desire of course you learn it and get over it if you are still not learning it that means it is not something you are motivated for work on your motivation and it is not something which i can give you or someone else can give you again it's not a magic pill you have to motivate yourself from within and this will come from your reason have a purpose why are you learning english if you lack purpose you won't be fluent the people who are fluent actually had a purpose they knew why it is important for them to be fluent and they did it they did it and now they are gaining some other skill they are not stuck into english only now you know the reason the eighth one is and most of you most of you suffer from this problem tell me in the comment section if this is not the right thing or not you want a quick fix solution you want something immediately to happen to you give me a tablet and i'll swallow it down my throat and words will start coming out of my mouth people watch my video and they comment ma'am you speak so fluently you are so confident your pronunciation is so good there has to be a strategy tell me the strategy my 640 videos have not been able to communicate a strategy to you one comment will do that do you think my reply to your comment will give you that strategy come on you don't want to invest you don't want to learn you don't want to 
put in efforts you're comfortable in your comfort zone you don't want to move from your comfort zone to your growth zone and that is why you're not fluent the people who wanted to be fluent have become fluent already they are not these people who were looking for a strategy or a technique they have dedicated their time and efforts you want you ask me how am i so fluent i have dedicated years i have read hundreds of books uh, for me it has always been books are you willing to do that you've not even read one book and you want me to give you a solution i have read so many books i have worked on my vocabulary like anything i have kept a full mota wala oxford dictionary by my side and i would underline the difficult word i'd look for the meaning write the meaning right there and read it again and again and form my own words and stood in front of mirror and made new sentences with those vocabulary words are you willing to do that no you are not going to dedicate any time the people who are fluent have dedicated time on uh, for this fluency and that is why they are fluent simple answer it was their priority they made english their priority and they became fluent by dedicating themselves a particular time you are not willing to do that now the ninth reason is that you uh, are still looking for a particular time like from your comments only i get to know when you ask that how much time will it will it take for to me for becoming fluent you still want to dedicate some time one hour i will pay for a trainer i'll talk to them or i'll join an institute three days classes that is the time when i practice english or i watch videos that is the time i practice english you want books to help you 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 ask which uh, books shall i read to become fluent in english tell me the courses i will do it for one hour you are still not making it a part of your life it has to be a part of your life you cannot do it like one thing in your day by just spending one hour or three days in a week no it should be your priority you get up in the morning and start looking around at things and start speaking about them you end your day by writing a journal in the middle of uh, your day when you are traveling carry a book along with you and start reading whenever you get time work on your pronunciation listen to other people listen to audio books podcasts or these videos which help you uh, work on your pronunciation are you doing that or are you still looking for courses and and you just in or want to invest one hour of your day it's not going to work like that if you're not obsessed with it if you really don't want to do it fully by making english a part of your life even if no one in your family speaks you're still ready to speak it with yourself you want to work on your self talk you want to read all the kind of books that you love to read until then you won't be fluent so those who were fluent were not waiting for one hour in a day or were not going to institutes they did it on their own and they have come out with flying colors simple okay now this last tip that i'm going to talk about listen to it very carefully some people are naturally good speakers and it is not about english speaking uh this communication skills is their forte they are good with their communication skills naturally these people speak well in their native language also and some of them cannot speak their native language or their mother, mother tongue fluently it is it is there speaking is not their major ability now a cricketer plays cricket very well but they sometimes because they are representing uh their country internationally so they have to have some uh, fluency so they just learn bit of english so that they can appear for interviews that's it if they try to work on becoming a public speaker it will be a big problem because their major skill is their sport what you are doing wrong is that you are listening to other people who are good speakers naturally it is their forte it's something which is there their brain is wired in such a way that they can pick up languages easily i can speak many languages fluently not just hindi english i can speak bhojpuri just because by listening i have learnt it i can speak punjabi very well i can speak some bit of marathi that accent i can pick up i can speak haryanvi i can i can speak a lot of languages just by listening to them so that's a skill which i have i have naturally from childhood only i i was able to do that but if you try to become like a 
person who is already a good speaker then that comparison would kill your desire to work on it if this is not your natural desire the uh, natural skill then don't work on aiming at becoming a wonderful speaker just work on this skill so that you can manage your job and other things well that's it don't compare yourself to other people that's the whole idea those who are fluent did not make comparisons they did not compare themselves to native english speakers because they were born in a nation where everybody was speaking english so what's the point uh, comparing yourself with americans and britishers they did not compare themselves with public speakers the news readers all of these people no they they did not do that so you also stop comparing and just work on your fluency your expression your speaking your communication that's it so don't build try to become a public speaker focus on your skill no no your strength which is your forte what is your strength polish it the most english will come along it will help you achieve all that you want don't make it your prime focus work on your skill and accordingly learn english which can help you excel in your field so this is all i want to say to all the people who are working hard on becoming fluent from a very long time and have not been able to do that and they see other people who are fluent they have worked on it it takes years it is not something which happens overnight they have worked very hard on it if you are willing to put in all the efforts that they have you will be fluent too it is just that you are not dedicating enough time you are not exploring different techniques you are just stuck somewhere that's why you're not fluent it's not there is nothing wrong with english something is wrong with your eff- efforts so practice more dedicate more time invest into this skill and then see how you will become fluent too all right so all the best to all of you fluent english speakers and tell me how many of these reasons you can relate best with and then you can start working on that problem there is a solution for everything i will see you in my next video till then take care of yourself bye bye for now